are available for transplant in the U.S. because of the opioid epidemic. This is proving true here in western Pennsylvania, too. And while the epidemic is certainly both tragic and problematic, something many people may not realize is how those organ donors who have passed are saving other people's lives. At 25, Marty Brown is living what is his second chance at life. In such a tragic situation of, you know, passing away, suddenly, you know, I, I've noticed has given the family you know, peace and has able to help them through their, you know, their grieving process. Born with a congenital um, heart disease that progressively worsened, Brown spent his early 20s on a waiting list for a heart. When he got the call, it was for a high-risk heart from a young man who died from an overdose. They asked me if I was willing to accept the heart because any heart, of, you know, um, offer that they give you, you can always decline it. Um, now, the downfall with declining it is you may not make it to the next offer. I think it's important to understand that these are very good organs um, that a lot of times are being discarded because of misconceptions. According to UPMC doctor Fernanda Silvera, when transplanting increased risk organs, there is a very small risk of disease transmission. It's very promising. Uh, there have been a few. Uh, a pilot trials done that showed that if transmission of hepatitis C happens in that setting, that we can treat the recipient and cure that recipient from the hepatitis C and they are not going to develop. Uh, chronic hepatitis C. Allegheny County Chief Medical Examiner Dr. Carl Williams has witnessed how dramatically overdose deaths have increased with the addition of fentanyl. Yes, there's an increasing percentage of otherwise completely healthy, uh, starting at 20, 30, 30 year olds, that the only other reason that we might be likely to get their organs as motor vehicle accidents. If those individuals choose to be organ donors, someone like Marty Brown may have a second chance. It's just a whole new source of good, viable organs that wasn't available to us uh, again 10 years ago and even five years ago. Since Marty received his new heart in the fall of 2016 at UPMC Presby, he met his fiance. He went back to work and bought a new house. One of the greatest things that has helped me through this process, though, is being able to be in contact with um, my donor sister. Um, she tells me all the time that I'm her hero, and that's when I reply to her that her brother is my hero. Marty also told me that he and his fiance are inviting his donor's family to their wedding in October. Isn't it interesting how they, out of a tragedy there comes a, a life-saving transplant and solace for the donor's family? Yes, Ken. Yeah. A lot happened there. We wish them well.